Wait a second. Why am I in such a dang hurry? I want to slow down. I really do. I mean, look, I am just about retired. I sold the business. The kids are out of the house. I am mostly done. Yet for some reason, I just cannot take my foot off of the gas. When I look at my life right now, right this second, I have more time for myself than I have ever had. Hey, maybe not. Maybe when I was a little baby, I had more time for myself. Why am I racing around like a chicken. I mean, is it that I think that if I take my foot off the gas, if I slow down, is that the beginning of the end? My life has been pretty busy, and a lot of the things that have kept me busy have been super meaningful. If I think about being a, a husband or being a parent or working and running my own business, those types of things, they were super meaningful to me. I think I'm a little bit afraid that if I do slow down, maybe I don't have those meaningful things to keep me busy. And is that something that is worrying me? And when I thought about that, I thought, yeah, that is worrying me just, just a little bit. And I said, all right, I have another 30 years on this planet, statistically speaking. And, and what can I accomplish in those 30 years? So I went backwards. I went back to look at my life before. And if I go back 30 years, that puts me in my mid-30s. And at that point, I was newly married. My second child had not been born. And, and my career was just getting started. It took a good 30 years, like from then till today to kind of accomplish and to move through and to do all of these things in my life. There were these big, huge markers that kind of I look back on. And then, of course, there were like dozens and dozens of smaller things that were going on. All of these things, they were keeping me pretty busy. And not busy in a bad way. It's more like the pace of life, what was going on, the natural rhythm of things that were happening. It was pretty darn quick because of the speed with which I kind of moved through the world. Is that why right now, right at this time, I'm having trouble slowing down? If that is the pace of life that I have pretty much been running at for the past 35 years or so, this is a pretty big change. You know, I'm moving into a place where I have a little bit more space and time to kind of breathe deeply and look around. I'm not sure that I'm ready for that. It makes me kind of uncomfortable. And then I had this realization, thankfully, that I'm judging my future life based on what my life was like before. It's almost like I think it should be the same. But in reality, why do I think it should be the same? If, if I look at my life, if I look at kind of childhood and maybe my 20s and my 30s and my 40s and my 50s, if I look at those discreetly, each of them are chapters in the story of Nick. And if I think I'm like closing the book and, and opening a new book, that's not exactly what's going on here. I'm finally realizing that my life is going to be different. It is going to slow down a little bit. I don't have any more parent-teacher conferences to go to or college tours. I don't have to worry about making payroll or planning for retirement. That stuff is done. I get to take on new challenges. I get to do things that I've wanted to do and try new things that I haven't. Now, of course, there are going to be some classic kind of retirement things like travel and long lunches, but there's a whole other world of things that I get to explore because I want to explore them. Being a personal trainer is a really great example of this for me. As I got closer to retirement and I trained to be a personal trainer, it was not something that I thought I would do when I was in my 30s or 40s or early 50s. It was only as I realized I was going to have time and I had quite a few years left that I wanted to take on a new challenge. So truth be told, I am still kind of busy. I mean, I'm not like 150 emails back to back meetings kind of busy, but my calendar is filling up. But here's the difference. My calendar is filling up with things that I want to do, things that I love doing, and things that I look forward to. So I don't have to slow down. I don't have to get in that rocking chair and kind of 
coast to the finish line. I'm engaged in life. I'm excited by life. And I'm truly moved by the things that I get to do, the opportunities that I see in front of me, and the time that I now have to go tackle those things and enjoy them.